have a walk. Hi, I'm Ashley uh, Flint. This is my Nursing 333 Assessment Video Unit 7 of the Heart and Neck Vessels and the Peripheral Vascular System and Lymphatic System. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect her carotid artery. So I'm looking, you know, I don't see any um, distension, they're not bulging out. So that's good, and they look symmetrical. Next, I'm going to palpate the carotid artery. With this, you do not want to palpate them at the same time because you could cut off blood supply and lower your blood pressure. And so we're just going to do one at a time. Okay, so she's about a plus two, which is normal. Um, I, you know, they're not bounding and they're not really weak. I can feel them with nice, good, strong pulses. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to calculate the jugular venous pulse. So if you look at it really closely, you can see a pulse right here and here. So I'm going to take this ruler and I'm going to put it in her sternum notch and look at the centimeter side. And just, I want to use a flat piece of anything, it could be paper or cardboard. I'm going to line up the pulse, try to line it up with my ruler. Hers is about one and a half centimeters. Anything less than three centimeters is good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the um, apical pulse. So it's at your, um, could be at the fourth or fifth intercostal space. At or um, mid to the side of your mid clavicular line. So, I want to feel it first. This on a woman is going to be about right under the breast. I shouldn't be able to feel it, um, which is good because I don't. I don't feel any vibrations or a thrill. And the next thing I'm going to do is listen to the apical pulse and use my watch. Okay, so her um, rhythm is nice and even, and her rate of her heart is being about 70 beats per minute. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to listen in the four main areas that we listen to in the heart, which is the aortic, which is here, tricuspid, which is here, no, aortic, which is here, pulmonic, which is over here, tricuspid, which is right Almost um, over. And mitral, which is here to the side. Now, those aren't the only four areas that I'm going to listen to. I'm going to make a nice V pattern over the chest just to get a good um, listen to all the heart. Um, while I'm listening, I'm going to be listening to the heart sounds. So I'm going to hear the S1 and the S2 which is the, S1 is the love, S2 is the dove, S1 is the start of um, systole, and S2 is the um, systole. 
Okay, I'm hearing a nice love dog. <clears throat> Not hearing any extra heart sounds. Just one of the more sweet ones. Okay, now since my stethoscope is a cardiac one, all you have to do instead of using the bell, you just press down further. So I did that, I was not hearing any extra heart sounds. And <clears throat> now I'm going to listen to the apex of the heart, so I'm going to have you roll this one on your left side. Okay. And then we're going to listen right here. This helps, um, it would be easier heard if there was any extra weird noise, heart sounds to hear. Okay, I'm not hearing anything yet. So next I'm going to have you sit up. And I'm going to listen to the basses of the heart. Okay, and again, the right is regular. I'm not hearing any extra heart sounds, so that's good. Okay, now we're going to move on to the um, peripheral vascular system and lymphatic system. So, I am going to go ahead and you know, since you feel your pulses. So I'm going to feel the radial pulses first. And you, wanna, you can do these pulses at the same time. Again, looking for symmetry, making sure one's not bounding and one's not really weak, which they're both even and the same. While I'm doing this, I'm feeling the temperature of her hands, her fingers, that's nice and warm. I'm going to look at the um, capillary refill comes right back. So you can tell that she's got good circulation here. I'm going to feel her brachial pulses. Okay. These are nice and even. Um, same. Next, I'm going to look at your um, <coughs> epitracular lymph nodes. I'm going to have you're going to have this person shake your hand, and you're going to come over here with their arms slightly bent and feel right at that notch where the elbow meets. You want to try to get under the, all that muscle. You kind of feel around. You shouldn't feel anything, you know, bulging out or abnormal. No, don't. Not feeling you know, if the node was enlarged, you would definitely feel it. Not feeling anything there. I'm going to check the other side. <clears throat> okay, good. So let's check your, I'm going to have you lean back a little bit. I'm going to check your femoral pulse. And also while I'm here, I can kind of, you know, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to take her hands off the field, but I can actually um, feel her pulse pretty good. And while I'm here, I'm also going to be checking her um, inguinal node. I'm not feeling, um, not really feeling anything, you know, the node being enlarged. That's good. It's so a nice steady pulse. and check the other side. Nice and regular. Um, <clears throat> next thing I'm going to do 
Now we have like that. Okay. Now we have <laughs> Okay. To feel the popliteal pulse, you're gonna have a person slightly bend the leg, um, and feel right underneath their knee. You should feel a nice, steady pulse, and I do. Nothing irregular. It's um, it's not bounding. It's not really, really, really weak. So that's good. I do the same thing for the other leg. <laughs> and I'm also um, noting that her um, legs are warm. So I'm looking at her skin, you know, it's, um, not all of her skin seems very warm, no discoloration. Um, her feet feel Slightly cold, but they're both slightly cold, so that's good. Now, if one was um, cold and one was warm, then we might have, you know, feel some concern. Wild on her feet, and then I'm going to go ahead and feel her um, posterior tibial pulse, which is about right on the inside of her foot. Okay, down that ankle. I'm going to do both of these at the same time. And for the pop, um, dorsalis pedis pulse, which I think is the hardest one to palpate, you're going to start from the toe and go down because the pulse should be right at the muscle where it um, flexes. It's right on the top of the foot, right by the big toe. You come down. Okay. You have to press a little hard to get to feel the pulse. Okay. So all her um, pulses are normal and regular. I'm not feeling any um, enlargement of the nose. Her heart rate is nice and regular. Not feeling any, hearing any um, abnormal heart sounds. So I would then, you know, after she has any Concerns or questions that I didn't address during assessment, and if not, that is the end of our assessment. Thank you.